Uh, this is my computer, an iMac, and it has two printers available to use. So over to the right is a laser printer, a Fuji laser, a network printer. So it has a, an, an Ethernet cable, see that blue cable at the back of it to the left, going into the router. So it's available to any computer on the network. And the other printer, go back over here, is an Epson wireless printer. And that's a Wi-Fi printer. So that also is available to any computer on the network. So here's my, my other computer over here, another iMac, which is running a live TV at the moment. That can print to either of the printers, as can this computer print to either uh, printer. So let's have a look at how to set this up on Google Print. Right, so I want to connect some printers to Google Print. So I need to have Chrome, and I'm using a Mac, but uh, it doesn't matter whether it's a Mac or Windows. So Chrome is open, um, a new tab is ready, uh, and just to set them up to Google Print, I need to get into the settings. So up into the menu up here, to settings, and towards the bottom, show advanced settings. Scroll to the bottom again, Google Cloud Prints. And to add the printers, all I have to do is register the printers that are connected to the computer that I'm on at the moment. And we looked at that at the beginning in this video. There are two printers that this printer, this computer can access. So I need to register them. So all I have to do is, is click Add Printers. Now I don't have a cloud ready printer. These are classic printers, what are known as classic printers, and they're either USB printers connected by a USB port to your computer, or they're network printers, Wi-Fi, but then still not considered cloud-ready printers. And to get those to work, I do need to click that Add Printer and register them. Now I can see what printers I have available. Manage your printers. These are the printers that I have registered in Google Drive. The ones I just added is this Epson Workforce 645 Wi-Fi printer and this one, which is a laser printer, Fuji laser printer. And you can see the same one here, and that's registered to the laptop. So if I'm actually uh, using the laptop somewhere, then the, uh, the printer will become online because it's connected, it's registered to that computer. So the ones that are greyed out, they're the same printer, but they're registered to a different computer. And there's a few of them that are done like that. And this one is, uh, um, I can print to the iPad through Google Print, to the tablet, the Nexus 7 Android tablet, and to the phone. And I can, uh, I can do that because I've installed Chrome on each of those mobile devices, and I've also installed Google Drive on each of those mobile devices and added those printers. So to print something, let's go to the iPad and have a look how it works. I'm on the iPad and in Chrome, I can go to any website. So here's the, uh, the website, the home page of my website. So if I wanted to send that to Google Drive as a PDF, then into the menu and print. And I would select Google Cloud Prints and it's searching for any printers in my Google Print account and it's picked up all of these ones and I want it to go to Google Drive. Save it. That's sending the print job and the length of time that takes depends on the web page and your internet connection. So it's been sent to the um, to the um, iPad to Google Drive. Now, if I wanted to, I could also print it to one of the printers connected 
to Google Cloud Print. So let's pick the laser printer. And in that one, I actually have access to all the different options. So I might just change that to A4. A4, so you can change all your settings and print it. Now, if that printer is on, it should print. And let's see if I can actually get it to work. This is the Fuji printer, and it's printing to that printer. So, this is the page that I've just sent via Google Prints. It's just warming up at the moment. All right, the, it's finished processing, and here comes the printout. So, it's taken about a minute for it to actually process. But there it is. And it's a fairly long website. And here it is, holding it up now. That's the actual web page that just printed. So just to recap that part, that I could have been anywhere uh, on my iPad and wanted to print a web page to a printer, I can just send it to my printer, and when I come home, there it will be sitting in the printer tray. As long as that printer is on and the computer connected to that printer is on, which it was. So the last thing to check is Google Drive, because I did send that same web page to Google Drive as a PDF. If I go into Google Drive, and the file is called Nets Life PDF. There's two versions of it because I was playing with it. So the file is there, and when I open it, it will open as a PDF file, which can then be read on the iPad or saved by going up to the sharing button. I might open that in another app, so perhaps save it into Adobe Reader and annotate it. So here it is opening in Adobe Reader. It's a four-page uh, web page, or I could open it in Goodreader, where I might then use Goodreader's file management to upload it to Dropbox or somewhere else that I wanted to send it to. But it also uh, annotates PDFs as well.